St. John, the Lord of Hosts, but the Lord of 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 the Lord my women leaders, Kushika Kunimana Mskana and Oyimbira. Nagamira Fambiri Penyu, allow me to honor the presence of uh, St. John leaders, my elders, Aripan Jubopano, my apostles. Um, I want to honor and give thanks to the national leader of, of the youth, uh, their committee, the, the, the entire leadership, my assembly, Zakasiana. I want to give my heart, heartfelt thanks to the patrons and the matrons that have brought you here, that have been taking care of you. Um, my patrons, my matrons, Neguti, Munotakura, a burden on our behalf. It's also to the to relax as she's out here, and I do the good hands. The fact that Magatu is for Tumas and John Panjim Boyamaka is for is because God trusted your heart to raise up our children to be the future champions, to be the future leaders of St. John. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Um, today I'm so privileged and I'm so thankful. Ne topic yama first ne kumoni invite akwa maitwa tindi shuke Panjim Boyino ne topic yama ndi pako tindi anse kuti I think uh, it's a very few times that I stand in front of congregations teaching. So today I've got a book because I was given a topic. So I did not want to miss anything at any point. So it's something that I meditated on and I managed to write. And I hope I'll be fast enough to be able to impart. Please listen because I've got some goodies to those who are able to listen and answer questions. I had to do this because that's what teachers do, they give sweets, right? Mm. Yeah, so I brought some sweets to those youth who will be able to listen. So my topic that you gave me is uh, personal care and elegance. Um, to begin with, I was researching on these topics. So personal hygiene is basically the state of being able to check on your external body parts um, for health and hygiene reasons. It is caring your bodies. Um, it is it is a it is a state of being able to take care of your bodies. Now there are types of personal hygiene. The first one that I was taught when I was meditating is dental and oral hygiene. Um, I know that some of you know about this. Some of you it will be new to you. It is important that one brushes their teeth in the morning and in the night. And if you are able, in between, you can brush your teeth, especially those who have braces. If you have braces, every time you finish eating a meal, you're supposed to brush your teeth. It's important that when you brush your teeth, you also floss. You must be able to, if you are working and or if you're getting pocket money, don't just spend it on chicken in. Try and have a dental health bag. So you brush your teeth in the morning, in the evening, and before you go to bed, try to floss. Because when you brush your teeth, what happens is um, a lot of dirt collects in between your teeth. And if you don't, floss that dirt, it then it ends up mounting up into bacteria and when it becomes bacteria it's, uh, it contributes to bad um, breath and um, yellowing of teeth as well as creating plague. It's also important for you, if you notice that you have bad breath, you, either it's because of there's something that is wrong with your teeth, the structure of your teeth, probably you've got rotten teeth. It doesn't always mean that if you have bad breath, it's because you're not brushing your teeth. Because there are some who brush their teeth, but after brushing their teeth, they always, they, maybe 30 minutes after, they realize they have bad breath. If you could do like when I was growing up, I would do this, I would do it, my own check. You should always smell your breath. Try and close up your mouth like this and see whether you have bad breath. Because if you can smell yourself, trust me, the person next to you is uncomfortable. 
Have you ever noticed someone who's got bad breath? But you, have you noticed they come close to you? Most of, most of the time we can't tell them that they have bad breath. But I think it's important for us to tell them that you know what? I'm, as a youth of St. John, I've been given the knowledge that probably you have a rotten tooth somewhere that is causing. So it's, it's, we, we always feel like it's a shame for us to tell somebody that they have bad breath. But it's, it's actually a condition that somebody might actually have that you can help them with. Um, yeah, on, uh, yeah. Um, also, if you find that you've got issues with bleeding gums, always try and find a, a very soft toothbrush to use. There are actually different types of toothbrushes that you can use. Some, most these, these toothbrushes that are written Colgate, they, they have hard bristles. They, sometimes you may think that they have, the harder the toothbrush, the cleaner, the, the, the better it is the cleaning. But sometimes it's the opposite. So if you find that you've got bleeding gums, you must be able to um, just go to the pharmacy and ask for a soft toothbrush. Also, like this, I, uh, it's something that Baba Dr. Bishop Mapiza also always teaches. You must brush your tongue. Because they also, your tongue, it, it, it keeps a lot of dirt. Because you eat different things and they get stuck on the tongue. So most of us, we forget to brush the tongue. Are we learning something? Yes. yes. It's the God of Tuma St. John. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Now we move on to face hygiene and hand hygiene. Um, it's important to wash your face morning and night to prevent spreading of bacteria or virus, viral diseases. Um, there are many viral diseases that can be passed through um, just that's, uh, not washing your face or washing your hands regularly. It's not only COVID-19 that we have to be uh, aware of, so, um, that we have to take heed to wash our hands. It should just be a habit. COVID-19, I think it quantitizes that it's very important to wash hands. However, it's important to, for you to incorporate this in your daily routine. Um, you find that uh, if you don't wash your hands or your face regularly or cough into your hands, you, you expose yourself to common coughs, COVID-19, pink eye, the disease called pink eye, that is spread, or, or trachoma infections. Um, these infections come through contact, so I greet Marcy here, and Marcy didn't wash her hands when she went to the toilet. And then I'm yawning and I'm touching my mouth already. I'm exposing myself to infection. I greet the next sister here. Then I rub my eyes because they are itchy. So I'm exposing myself. So it's very important that you do it not only for yourself, but the person that you're going to come in contact with. Speaking of which, you just have to be very particular because it's common for us to greet each other. So it's important for you that you don't have to say, I, I can't greet you because I don't want to have trachoma. No, you greet, but constantly wash your hands. If it is possible and it is in your power, find a hand wash and do the 20-second 20, 20 wash. It's important to, to, um, to wash your face and your hands um, because uh, uh, spreading occurs when you are exposed directly to a, a certain person who, is, who has a bacteria. So also it's very important for us to continue exercising, coughing under your armpit. Because most of us, we are very, I mean, I don't think to, uh, the youth of St. John may be like that, but if you are one of those who just cough into other people's faces, you need to try and observe um, better hygiene coughing methods. Like, um, can I ask a question? How do we cough? Uh, can you just demonstrate to us ways in which you can cough? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm trying to make this interactive so that you don't sleep because I know you are like, you have almost a lot of information overload over the past two, two nights that you've been here. So coughing and sneezing can spread uh, viruses. So it's important to cough under your armpits or to even cover your mouth with a tissue. So uh, for the boys, it's important for you, uh, sorry, for the men, because you know in St. John we are not raising boys you are probably at this stage we are supposed to raise you from a youth to a man you are transitioning so for you you the youth of st john it's important for you to have a handkerchief i'm praying and hoping that all of you have handkerchiefs right now because it's part of being a gentleman you move around with a handkerchief so from now on i hope that you can you know even you ladies when you want to spot a gentleman 
Yeah, you just ask him where's your handkerchief. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Um, so brothers, we must go for weekly shaves. Also, it's in, oh, okay. I'm going to So it's a bit tricky. So so it's a bit tricky now. Um, so brothers, it's also important for you to take care of your faces, ladies, girls, uh, and ladies in the making. It's you don't have to have a certain budget for you to be able to take care of your face. We are blessed in the house of St. John because too much in John, I know what you pay here. Have you ever noticed that you can meet up with people who have um, who have been painted? Their faces are practically like these days, there's like so much stuff that is happening. You can't even identify them. And when you stand next to them, you still look younger and you still look more radiant than them. That's the God of Ntuma St. John. He makes us look beyond what we, our age is. So it, it's not, don't, don't even be, don't feel inferior when you have to go in, in spaces where you have um, two, uh, girls your age that have makeup on. Because God has already made you over. The God of Ntuma St. John is dealing with your skin. Yes. But all you need to do is love water. Yes. So you, you go to love the water. You don't need money. Sometimes there are these general kitchen stuff that you can use that don't even go, um, they don't uh, constitute harmful, harmful um, chemicals. I'm trying to say this because some of us are getting skin lightening uh, lotions. Some of you are getting them because not because you want to be light, because I'm always advocating for chocolate skin. Chocolate skin is good skin, my youth. Chocolate skin is also good skin. We are going into pharmacies and we are going into different beauty stores and we are getting cream. Some of them, they have skin lightness that harm you. And some of the youth of this day, they even go to pharmacies and get some creams. Because, but now the problem is when they stand, when you stand before your friends, they, you have a, you are light, your face is light, but your legs are black. And people can see it. So, so it's very important for you to just love your own skin. Yes. Know that you are beautifully and you are wonderfully made. And even as the word of God says, beauty is fleeting, charm is deceiving. But a woman who fears the Lord is greatly to be admired. So just know that God, I fear the Lord with my beauty. So you wash your face either with those scrubs. You can make scrubs. I'll, I'll give you an example. Tomatoes, tomato juice and oil and... Um, Minimal. They make scrubs. All sorts of scrubs can be made. It's just that we are at a youth conference. We cannot share further. However, if you can afford, buy scrubs. It's not makeup. You are just cleaning your face. Buy scrubs, toners, moisturizers. No makeup. It's just done. And you are ready to look attractive and get married by a gentleman from the house of St. John. Like the other youth. And also you youth, when you are choosing girls, examine their faces because you do not want to see a different person who after you have proposed and you are now in the house and she's telling you I've been using this and this and this and that and you're seeing a different face from the one that you dated make sure you make them when you when you're in the dating when you are in the dating stages please make sure that you look for beauty that is more of inside than the beauty that other ladies are getting from the external products. We have to be able to identify that this girl is using. And that we use her. So I'm just trying to say this so that the youth don't use. Don't use. Let them come to you because you are beautifully made and wonderfully made. Um, let's, let's move on to food hygiene. Now, because we also step past the background. It's very important for us children of St. John to wash our feet properly. It's very important for us to scrub our feet. And uh, you know, you must aim high. Masculine here, she said she wants to be rich. Okay, Masculine, I hear you. Or your prayers are with the Lord. You must just pray that, Lord, help me so that I can have grace to be able to afford certain things that you have made to make me clean. The God of Tumas St. John makes a step here on the ground. So if you do well in obeying Him and you do well in listening to your parents, you grow up, you get good careers, you'll be able to go take yourself for a foot massage. Even guys can go for a foot massage. It's not only for ladies. You go for a foot massage when you see that your, 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 your heel is cracking. 
You don't need anybody to tell you that your yield is paying. You just have to observe. If not, you don't go shanta the traditional way. And then when you're done, you also look for certain affordable um, creams like Vaseline. You just you know put on your on your on your on your on your heels. It's very important for you to dry up your feet because if you don't dry your feet, you tend to attract fungi diseases. Um, you must clip your toes. Some of us have toes that are now going above our, toe, our toes. If you now have toes that are like a cap on your feet, that means your toes are due to be cut. So let's just examine our toes, toenails. Yeah, um, it's very important for us to cut our toenails, especially as children of St. John, because we are always on, on, on directly putting our feet on the ground. And it's not pleasant to look at um, nails that have accumulated dirt. It's, it's important to avoid tight-fitting shoes, because they avoid, um, they, they stop that circulation. Girls, I know we like to look smart. I used to do it when I was a youth. I had certain shoes, you know, that I liked. Sometimes I would go to a shop. I wasn't the child of St. John yet. Now, if I could turn back the years, I wouldn't do it. But I'm saying this so that I, I want to show you that it's actually real. That you can go to a shop or a flea market, right? You see a nice shoe and you're like, I'm not leaving this shoe. Even if it's tight, once, one, one, one size smaller than my foot, I'm going to wear it so that I look elegant, right? Please, let's not do that. Because you, you know what, the more you wear tight shoes, the more you are, um, you know, you stop your blood from circulating the way it's supposed to. And also, this may, this, uh, I think this is more to the, to the youth, the, 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 the male side of the youth. It's important for you not to repeat socks. Men, because, because if you repeat socks, they just think, just naturally. And sometimes it's one of those things that will be put off when you're approaching this youth. Or even if you're at a workplace, because it's not always about courtship. If you're going to work, you are in a working environment, you know, ladies may even be talking about you that Ish, this, this guy is good, but the order that comes out of him. So that, that is, please, make sure you don't wear or repeat socks. That's not a good hygiene practice. So it's important to continually um, inspect your feet for cuts, wounds, dryness, fungi, hookworms which is uh, highly common amongst us who, 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 who walk barefooted. Um, this other topic, please, may you allow me to just speak of it because it's very important. Um, in my profession, um, God has blessed me to operate a pharmacy. So one of the campaigns that we are doing at our pharmacy is we are, encouraged, we are speaking to girls about menstrual hygiene. So I do know that uh, in respect of the elders that are here, please allow me to speak this because these children, they already know about this thing. They learn them in school. It shouldn't be taboo for, for, for us to talk about these things because that's the very reason why they feel stigmatized and most of the time they are not able to, to meet up to menstrual hygiene because you know what the Ashitao and I will just be, I will try and not be deep because of, um, I thought, uh, yeah, uh, I would be able to speak before Big Sunday. So I'm just going to mince my words. So this topic should be, I'll just look at the latest here. This topic should be normalized and not deemed taboo. We know it happens to all females, right? So when it happens, we know that your uterus will be shedding, and we know that um, from the signs that you're taught in school. Now, today I brought this box here. It has everything that a woman needs. And some of the things that are in here, I know you may not even know or have not used them before. So, yeah, I'm going to gift it to somebody because I'm not able to talk about the stuff that's in here. So one day, in your other conferences, God allowing when I come, I will be able to share with the ladies separately. Is that okay? Yes. But for today, there's someone special who is going to receive some goodies that are in here. So you see how big it is? If you ever prepared yourself every month, this is this, this huge. This thing, this box here is so full. It is so, so full. So um, in the interest of time, I am not going to be dwelling much on that part. It is um, uh, a separate uh, gathering that is 
with the, the girls only. But this also refers to both uh, males and females. Your undergarments, uh, you should try and strive by all means to purchase cotton garments. Your undergarments, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Yes, your intimate garments. It is not. It is not advisable for you to purchase the nylons and the silks because they do not allow air to circulate. They are not breathable and they are not light fabric. So hence, they can make you become. Uh, they can create a lot of odor. Yeah. So you want to put on an undergarment that you can spend the whole day with, because if you put on such garments. By 12 o'clock, you don't want to be looking for a shower, right? So, but you find that other people can actually... I always say this to my daughters, if you can smell yourself, then I think it's high time you take a shower, no matter what time it is, because the person who's next to you, can, you are stinking. So it's very important for you to be able to practice good hygiene, as well as um, know that other garments also contribute to... Um, uh, containing your freshness. You must iron your undergarments. Most of us, it's very important to iron them, it's very important to wash them and put them in the sun. Even to you gentlemen as well. You must be able to, if you're not still staying with your, with your parents, it's important for you to ask for an iron. And then they must know what he, when, you know, brother Thompson asks for an iron, he's off to iron his undergarments because he knows and um, if you if you if you learn this you by the time you grow and you're choosing the ladies yeah believe me you are going to choose elegantly <laughs> it's important to um wash them and dry them in the sun most of us we wash and dry in the house because we feel that maybe it's the environment to stay in because we can't judge some stay in my families are kawanda in the same environment so it's very hard to be putting laundry outside but if it is in your best ability can you put your laundry your undergarments outside in the sun this helps kill bacteria also if you use a towel make sure when you bath and use your towel don't mix if do you understand what i'm saying Yes, don't mix your view, don't bust your face and use your towel as well in intimate spaces. So it's very important for you when you wash and bath, wash your towel and, uh, as well as put it out in the sun so that you also kill bacteria. Okay, I've just been told about time. Okay, um, can I just move on to, to uh, uh, I'll just touch a little bit on elegance if you allow me. An elegant youth is a successful and confident young lady or gentleman, always striving to be the best version of themselves in Christ. A true epitome of humility. If you are elegant, you are naturally humble. I'll touch on the habits of, or daily living. I'll just summarize them uh, of um, a humble and uh, an elegant youth. You must commit yourself to being polite. If you are elegant, you can't afford to use slang words all the time. You must feel like um, slang is not really part of your daily routine. So if you want to be elegant, don't be rude. Don't use slang words. You don't. You must be able to be aware of social cues. You must know when to speak and when to be quiet. You must know when you are in an environment where the adults how to. Um, conduct yourself respectfully if you are to be elegant. Um, another habit is you need to be ambitious and always willing to upgrade yourself. You must have an understanding that elegance is an attitude of success. It takes time to perfect. You must be able to be humble in your successes and always try to learn from your mistakes. So being elegant doesn't mean you are perfect. But it means you are able to learn from your mistakes. That makes you elegant. And you must not be able, you mustn't praise yourself when you've done something. But you must praise the Lord and always seek for growth. It's important to dress well and to dress for the occasion. You not so much need to dress like the person next to you because your figures are different. You must know the color of your skin and the colors that match your skin. Don't copy. Because you are copying somebody who has a totally different structure. 
they look elegant because they got it right in their dressing. So it's very important to dress well and to dress for the occasion. Um, elegant people are generally kind and considerate. You put people's um, needs before your own. Maybe today you woke up as a cold day. Did you offer somebody your jersey? Did you manage to do that? If you did, then you are considerate and a kind person. So certain things, you know, being kind and considerate takes a lot of sacrifice. So I do think I have one or two or three youths that um, I tested this on, and I believe they are elegant because they offered me their jerseys this morning. They offered me their sweaters, and I said thank you. But um, you are very elegant. Yeah, an elegant person aims every day to look for opportunities to improve oneself. So don't sit there and say, okay, I, you know, careers are for those who are intelligent, but you have got talents. I am sure somewhere behind, inside of you, God has placed a talent. Try and look for that talent, because if you are able to discover your talent, you become elegant, you become different. Being elegant is being open-minded. You must be able to be meek and to be able to learn. Um, uh, brothers talked about being meek. Don't say, I know it all. Uh, being elegant is being self-confident and having self-control. You don't have to have the last say. An elegant person is quiet, will listen, and give uh, an, an, an answer that is full of wisdom. Um, my last part of elegance, I am just going to say it's just one value, which is the best value of being elegant. You must be, you must be able to have self-worth. Self-worth is um, a belief that you belong to whatever. It's walking into a space, right? Walking into this conference and saying, I belong to St. John Luther. You should be able to say, I belong in this place and I will make an impact in this place. It's important for you not to be ashamed of your circumstances, your experiences, and your actions. You should be able to learn from your scars. Learn something from your scars. Don't be shy. If you are not smart, say, I am not smart. That's your scar. If you are coming from a home which is divided, where your parents are divorced, you must be able to say, I am ashamed of my situation at home. But it's your scar. Your scar must make you a better person. You become elegant if you... You're, 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 with the way you treat your scars. Do not allow anyone or situation to, invo to invade you negatively into making you think you are not worthy. If you already say have a voice in you that says um, you are ugly or you are not beautiful or you are not good enough, it's important to ask yourself who would you be if you didn't believe in those negative things. No one and understand that your dreams, ambitions and purposes are very important but the ingredients into making it in life is for you to make use of your leftovers. So for you to be elegant, you must be able to say, what are the crumbs of my life? What are the ruins of my life? What is it that I find so disgraceful? That is the leftover of your life. Take those leftovers and make a, a meal out of them. I want to thank you for being able to listen. I pray that um, in the interest of time, I'm the one who did not come to the conference early enough, but I want to thank Matunga Miri and um, the leaders for giving me this opportunity. I'm just going to ask two questions so that I can give the youth from the male side and from the, from the girls side. Um, can somebody tell me three things that they've learned today? Okay, you just stand because I can't choose if you are confident enough. Okay, three. Okay, I have learned that I should be able to, to, to regularly wash my hands because I can get some diseases like trachoma. And then I, I also, okay, the next point is I have to wash our feet because in order for me not to catch some bacteria that can cause diseases. And then when it comes to, uh, I have to be kind. I have to be, uh, oh, okay. That uh, you must be elegant. To be elegant means to be to someone who is humble. And I've learned that you must brush your teeth at least two times in the morning and in the evening. <laughs> and I've learned that, uh, 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 that you must uh, dry your feet to avoid fungal infections, you see. And you must also... Okay. Uh, from 
it's a uh, yeah, answer with the box. Oh. Okay, can I have one more? One more in the interest of time? I thought I moved. I had that uh, an elegant person. Um, need to be successful. Uh, that person has to to make it perfect. Hallelujah. And I also heard that uh, you must uh, wash your face, take care of your skin. I also heard that uh, you must wash your feet. Okay. Did you say the delegate person needs to be perfect? No, successful. And you have to work to work. <laughs> to work hard, to make it perfect, to be successful. Okay, um, can you vote? Masi or sister? Masi! Zangu ni katari ya nikaona ungano ilipaka nipenjumbo ino Nikaona shocho kwa nikuti 
Pane muruma akati umwa rugare matiri Aleluya Rugare matiri Ano uya uzo pupuri la kupona Kwa taonga njira paka kupe nchimbo ino Ano taura kutipane Ano kumasure kwangu Ano kuya kumasure kwangu Anisika gonika na kusunga Toka zake rugare matiri Ano wa jeso kristo rugare matiri Ataka unga njira paka kupe nchimbo ino Wanda mbole wa kuti ano taura Na Isaiah 55 kuti Isaiah 55 Na Isaiah 53, sorry kuti, mga fura pa 6 pa jono taura kuti, chese sema yuti takanga tuka tauka, umeno mga kanga kainda ni nzira yake, umeno mga ishunguru zambiriki wake, takanga tine kuhipi watai bata na oisi sema yuti, asi jeso kirisu wano wataka unga njira pano, waka isa shaka ipa jese shetu pa msoro pao, Doba wasaru za kutiwa ya ndepa kukocha wanoro uenerwa Nekuna kwa hivu saka ngati sewe ima ya nekuna kwa hivu shoshu Rukare matiri Aleluya Rukare matiri Rukare matiri Aleluya Asi tiri pangue kuna matamari Pati yesu ya kata kwa inao Kanganwe isha taka ita kutara Tire kekurangara Mafambira ata itakari Shakare tisie Mapatira ata itakari Mapatira ata itambut Kwa tiri kunyika yi jipita Mapatira ata itambut Kwa tiri mungu ya kutitakanga Sinako ziwa kwa takanga Tiri na koruga Rewa tiri Aleluya Jire shoko unuani kwa kuna yesu Kwa tiri Kukalorenga kutanga masefi ni pacho Rundu kwa mutuma achitaura achuta mwuzisi Achitichioza kunyike Zimbabwe Kana wainda kwa achuta mutuma senjoni Ano taura tindakanz kwa kutambu zika kuhanu Wangu wale mkati menjika yoyo Ndika wona mabatira wa ita uye ndanz kwa kuchema kwa u Sakari kai ni chitika njino wanunura rukare matiri Aleluya Rukare matiri Rukare matiri, aleluya Jifunze nasi patiri pano Kuti Sister Judy Weba obo asemble Mwudu ya ukiche Immediate attention Maitabasa Rukare matiri, aleluya Nyeye chaka unga njira pano Inyeye mponyo kwa na jeso Inyeye mchiza Akaiza pachukumu Aka rovere Aka tambuz kwa Kwa msoro pe kubata Kwa kanga kusinga ite Kwa kaiba tanako Aka tambuz kwa Kwa msoro pe Kwa kaiba jenu Kwa kaiba tanako Saka kana tau ya pano Kwa jubo ini Kuna matamari Gati rove zere Ana zere Kwa wishu Kwa ino Kwa wishu Kwa jine maronda Atiri kuzimbira Kwa kaiba jenu Kwa kaiba jenu Chino fana kula ngara kutipa patira ta ita pane muruma haka inda pachikomo Pane muruma haka jeso kristo haka tiponesa We should remember that Jesus Christ died for us Saka ngati la ngari la iru ponesa ono taka ponesa wa naru Chawi ya baba isu chawi ya chawi ya Chawi ya baba isu chawi ya Aleluya Aleluya Rukare matiri Ndangoso ya angu kuno mberi Kuliplesa angari falungari kuno Rukare matiri Anjira ungenda karonge zera uye Nguwa ya zapari zanzi ya kuri sasaka Ndangono karapase aleluya Asi indi chasi ya shokole kuti ngati terere wa meriki wedu Ndai muno fura shokola mwari kuna Proverbs 22 Ndai shakare muno fura shokola mwari kuna mpari zileveni Pari po pari no taura lichira ira shwa diki kutisi tunufana kutiri na maari Rukare matiri Uye shwa tunufana kutiri na wabeliki wendu kutichiwe chipairo Cheku zotikana Tayenda kumsoro kudenga Rukare matiri Ndo chino kwa nisa kana kutipa pundu uzo kana shwa tunoda mkati me upenyo Aleluya Shokora mari no taura kutika tere na wabeliki wendu Tine riwati ya tino wana ya upenyo wakakuri sa mkati me upenyo wendu Aleluya Rukare matiri Saka sayo shosho wanoda upenyo wakakuri saka na mazu waka wanda panika ino Gati tere wa beliki wedu aleluya Jirozi kwa yeze kaya ano taura chikumbira kuna mari Kuti mari nilo kumbira masho nilo kumbira mazu waka wanda ikura rama Kusure mekunga ambo piwa 15 days Unozo nzwa uti mari waka mupama umazu wa Tika rangara nekufungisa kutisho chokwadi yeze kaya ano daro aiteri wa beliki 
Nikuli ntuwe mbuna iruwega, unotawura, utikana waita, uchawani mazuwa kawanda panyika, mbari wakuro bafazi.